Hello and welcome to Tech Baffle. How's your day? Let me know in the comment section. Today we're going to find out how you can install mods for my summer car. For more tech goodness, don't forget to follow me at Tech Baffle. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Now I've done a video on this previously, but it was a bit hit and miss. So hopefully in this video, I've got all the latest updates, anything that's changed since. So hopefully you should be able to get mods working for your game. So let's get started. So first of all, before you change anything about my summer car, make sure you back up first. I can't stress how important that is. If you don't back up, you might lose all of your game save. So you'll have to start from scratch. So do make sure to back up first before you change anything about my summer car. So you go to your Windows Explorer and you go to C users and then put what your username is so on this one this is my gaming account so I just called it gaming and then app data local low Amazon tech and then my summer car so you just go ahead and press enter here we go we've got our game save here so what I'm going to do I'm just going to create a folder on the desktop and then just call it MSC save you could put like a date on it like uh, like that or something um, so all you have to do is just drag and drop your progress into here and then if it goes wrong you can go ahead and recover it afterwards so now that's all backed up all your my summer car save should be safe so the first step you need to do is download msc loader sometimes it's called mod loader or msc mod loader it's the same thing so i'll put that in the description so on this github page it will have the latest update so this one at the time of making this video is 0.3.3 if a later version isn't working out for you, you can try using this version if you want. So this is the latest one for me anyway. So you just click MSC Loader Zip. And as long as you've got WinRAR or WinZip or something, you can go ahead and open that straight from there. So now we can see we've got all the files from Mod Loader, including MSC Patcher.exe. So what we need to do, we need to go ahead and drag that into a new folder. So again, you can choose where to put this folder. It really does not matter. I'll just call it uh, MSC mod loader just just I mean you can call it whatever you like it really doesn't matter and you can put it whatever location you want it's just for the tutorial it's better just to it's easier just to put it on the desktop so here we go we've got all the files here so this is important this is the thing that was baffling everybody so hopefully this is all clear now so you need to go to your C drive then users there's a folder called users and then whatever your username is and here you can open up documents so you've got C users gaming that's my username and documents so what you need to do now is create a new folder so you right click and create and press new and then folder so on here I'll put my summer car now one thing you need to remember do not put spaces in it it has to be my summer car without spaces don't ask me why it's just what it is and then we'll have to put a mods folder inside there so now we've got a location to store our mods for mod loader to use so next step we need to actually install some mods so in these tabs here I've got MS tuner I've got no clip and I've also got grab anything all you might have to do is log in to download you can log in with Facebook it really doesn't matter and then it goes ahead and does it straight away so now we've downloaded every single one of the mods I'm going to use in this tutorial there is plenty of mods for my summer car and I haven't tried all of them out, I'm just trying these three out for now. So the process should be pretty much the same as long as they're compatible with Mod Loader. We've got three different uh, zip files. We need to open all of these up. So you can see there's lots of different things in the files. All you need to actually use the mod is this DLL file. So what you have to do, drag and drop the DLL file to the mods folder that we've just created. And then the this mod and finally this mod you don't have to worry installing any other files that come with it they're just help files basically so now we've got all the mods in our mods folder which is good so next step we need to actually launch my summer car now you might be thinking well I'll just launch it like I usually do on Steam no nothing different but there's a slightly different process if you want to use mod loader so what you have to do we'll go back to our MSE mod loader fo uh, folder that we've created before. We'll go ahead and we need to actually launch this as administrator. This is the most, probably the most 
reasons why this isn't working and I've only discovered this recently. You need to run ModLoader as administrator or your mods will not function at all. As you can see, this is the folder that we created, this C Users Gaming Documents My Summer Car Mods. Gaming is my username. Your username will be different. So the first step we need to do is locate where My Summer Car is located. Now it should recognize this already, but if not, it's uh, C Program Files and uh, in brackets x86. I'll put this all in the description. Steam, Steam Apps, Comment, and My Summer Car. So we'll just click that. This is the one we need to click and open. And then it will come up with installed MSC loader is up to date. If it's not up to date, then just press install this button here, which would light up when it's not up to date. So all you have to do is just click this button. If it doesn't say if it doesn't say installed in green letters, then press install mod loader. So we'll go ahead and launch MSC. So it's opening Steam like it usually would. It will load any updates like it usually would. Exactly the same. So you still get your Steam functionality and all your mice and car functionality. So as you can see up here, it says mod loader 0.3.3, whatever it is, is ready. That's a good sign, basically. All I need to do now is press Control P, and as you can see, well, hey, we have mod loading. So this is cool. This is cool. So. We have grab anything on here and also we have MS Tuner. So we'll go ahead and enable grab anything and I have a bit of an idea of who to use it on. Hmm, it's a difficult choice, isn't it? Uh yeah, so let's pick you up. <laughs> yep, so that, that that's doing the trick. And next uh what's the other one? Control N. No clip. Hey, we're flying. So yep, yeah, we have mods working. What is happening to the yellow car? I have no idea. Ah, it's chaos, chaos, chaos. Don't destroy my truck. Go away. Whoa. Yep. <laughs> I think MS Tuna is working. <laughs> we managed to duplicate the sewage truck and almost kill ourselves. So that's always a good thing. We, we that was a very narrow miss. <laughs> Now that we've got mods working in My Summer Car, it's even more chaotic than before. <laughs> so if you've got mods working in My Summer Car, don't forget to smash that like button. Have any questions? Ask away in the comment section. If you want more of this sort of thing, subscribe now and don't forget to press the bell icon to be notified of the next video. For more tech goodness, don't forget to follow me at TechBaffle. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat. Thanks for watching. Get all the info you need at TechBaffle.com. <laughs>